So here's the frame so far. I've been working on doing the boxing on it. Um, started getting this ground down. I still got to flip it over and do the other side. And then this side here, I'm still rough right now. I still got to grind, grind this, the welds up and clean it all up. But it's, it's getting there. And after I box it, I'll reprime it. Uh, and then uh, it'll probably be waiting for front suspension and rear suspension and engine trans, cross member, all that kind of stuff. So, um, but I'm doing what I can do now. And um, so there we have it all. And here is the truck. <clears throat> all boxed in um, see that's all all done um, it's a lot of it's a lot of grinding a lot of welding I can tell you um, so what I ended up doing is I got a seven inch angle grinder and used that now that's kind of a beast but um, it it worked really well. I went through a few, quite a few wheels. Well, actually five, but I could have gone through some more. But uh, yeah, it's uh, that way. They they got those welds down really good. Um, the next step here is I'm going to I'm going to sand this surface uh, with a. I don't know, DA or something, angle, some sort of an angle grinding thing, but um, you know, like a, I don't know, maybe a 40 grit or 36 grit or a 80 grit, something like that, just to kind of get that uh, loosened up, that surface, so it'll accept paint. And then is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna re-DP90 it. Um, clean it all off. I'll put DP90 back on it. Then I'm going to put K36 Primer Surfacer, which is also a builder. So I'm going to <clears throat> build the surface up a little bit. Um, and then that's kind of where it's going to be set. Um, I'm not going to go much further than that right now because that way the it'll be all it'll be all primed, sitting, ready. But I don't want to go any further because I still got to put the front suspension, rear suspension. I still got to put the engine mounts in, the transmission mount, et cetera, et cetera. So this is just a, a, a stage of, of primer just to keep it sealed up. And then I will, <clears throat> then I will, when I get the suspension, I can grind what I need off and then just spot prime from there. That's the idea because I, I don't like keeping things in bare metal. Um, I know some people like to build off of bare metal. I, I don't typically do that. It's too much of a risk for me, for rust. Um, so I just as soon get it into primer again as soon as I can, uh, then do any work on top of that if I need to. This will may get a little bit of more work as far as straightening goes, but um, maybe a weld here and there. Uh, the verticals, the verticals. I'm going to probably have a TIG welder. Uh, I'll TIG weld those corners up. I MIG welded them. They had, they had a little bit of gaps and stuff, so I filled them with some MIG. Uh, then I'll go over them with a TIG so it cleans it up, and makes it look nice. Uh, there's a <clears throat> another hole way at the back where the rear rear shackle was. Um, I did not fill that one yet, so. Uh, the very back, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. Same with that back cross member. I didn't box it in or straighten it yet. Um, I got to see if I'm going to actually keep that there or not. Um, so there's a few things up in the air. That's why I'm I want to get this thing in, into primer, and then I then I'm pretty comfortable with it sitting around and uh, kind of waiting for the suspension system whenever I get the the funds to do that, that's what I will do. So a little bit of a heads up right now. Uh, 
I think I'm going to continue on with showing the primered frame after this. So, okay, as you can see, I just got this painted, primed. Uh, it's in primer sealer right now. Um, this is uh, all boxed in. All boxed in and everything there now there's going to still be some work done to this i'm still going to do a lot more work to it but like i said before i wanted to make sure that i got the bare bare metal all in sealer before i went any farther um, as you can see the whole thing is primed it's boxed it's all kind of ready for the next step. Now I'll be painting that again today, the rest of it. Um, and I'm going to be painting it with a PPG's K36 primer surfacer, which uh, also fills. Um, but that's, that's where I'm at right now. I, I think that um, after I get in the K36, let's see, the K36 high build will start to start to fix some of the texture that's on the frame from the rust um, that was there, that's not there anymore. You know, kind of the rust damage, the little, almost like a heavier orange peel is what it's kind of like. So uh, the next shot you'll see will be in K36 primer. So here's the frame um, in K36. Now K36 is actually a primer surfacer, but it's mixed five to one. So it's kind of a filler too. So it has a high build. Uh, as you can see, you can still s barely see some of that, what I'm gonna call orange peel, but that's that rust damage from before um, and yeah there's a lot more work to be done as you can see like these spots here all have to be taken care of blended in so the body work on the frame hasn't started yet but what I have done is is get it into this this state so now uh, this can sit however long I need it to sit and I can come back on it, I can scuff it, I can sand it, um, and I can go from there because I got a good sealer underneath this, the DP90. Uh, so this is the boxed frame and it's starting to kind of come along a little bit. Um, still a lot of work, like I said, has to be done. The front cross member needs to be put on, the transmission mount needs to be put on and any other brackets that I may need uh, to, to retro the new engine and transmission in there. But just kind of showing you where the frame is now. This is as far as I'm going to go with it for now until I can scrape up some money for that suspension. Uh, and sure, I'll have to, I marked the, I marked, I don't know if you can kind of see that line right there. That's the center line of the, of the, the axle. I, I just took a die grinder and just kind of a little cutoff wheel and just kind of marked a line there. I did that all the way around um, and I don't know exactly what's going to have to happen with this arc of the um, front end here as far as putting a suspension system on there. So a lot of this may have to be modified even more not sure yet i'm not there but um just kind of given a, a heads up on where it is had all the corners all these these corners right back up in here uh tig welded i mig welded them first had them tig welded after that um just to kind of clean up the weld a little bit better um did that on all those corners so this is where I'm at. Again, this is in K36. I started off on DP90 today. Uh, 
I did my DP90 and now I did my K36. Now, as far as I'm concerned, the frame is, is done for now. I will probably be moving on to another part of the body, but um, we'll see where I end up. Okay, there we go.